I want to welcome everyone back to Texas Silver. Uh, also, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Um, and for the people that uh, have watched a lot of my videos or some of my videos uh, after these topics that I talk about here, there's going to be some of the animals and some of the activities that I do. So stick around to the end of that if you want to see that stuff. Okay. Uh, the last video that I put out was uh, about uh, cold weather survival. And I wanted to mention a couple things because I thought they were worthwhile. Uh, but get emergency blankets. It's the ones that look like foil and they reflect your body heat. I want to say they reflect like, I don't know, it's like 95% of your body heat. Those can be a lifesaver. They're, they're, did I just say lightsaber again? They are a life saver. Uh, man, may the force be with me through this video. Okay. Uh, <laughs> So those, they look like foil, um, and you can get them at, I know people don't like Walmart, but you can find them at Walmart, uh, sports stores, you can get them online. I think they're a couple dollars, but throw them in your vehicles, uh, throw, you know, keep a couple at the house, one for each person, but those reflect your body heat and they will, they will keep you warm. Um, another thing also is try and just heat one area. So instead of trying to heat the whole entire house, put everyone in the same room or area. That way you only have to heat that room. Also, everyone's body heat. I know you've been in a concert or at church or some sort of building that is just hot because of all the body heat. So, you know, if you have to get everyone in the same room and use the body heat and what whatever heat source you do have, use that to conserve and just heat one small area of the house. Okay, enough of that. Moving on. So... There's been some things that have come to my attention with different people's channels and stuff that are out there. And I just want to be clear. I am not for sale. My soul is not for sale. Okay. I'm not going to sell myself to make a couple cheap dollars. Okay. Anything that I push on this channel is because I believe in it and because I'm doing it myself or I plan to do it. Um, so no one's going to pay me any amount of money to endorse some crap that I don't believe in or do myself, okay? So there's some channels out there that are preaching about the collapse and what's coming and that there's gonna be this huge market collapse, but then they're pushing penny stocks or some other garbage. So be aware that there are wolves out there in sheep clothing and they're just trying to take advantage of people. They're in this for the money. Um, and it's just, just be careful. I don't want anyone that I follow getting scammed by some of these con artists, okay? Um, the reason why I do this channel, uh, I, I know I talked about it in my first video that I released, but uh, I was on JB's channel and a lot of the comments, you know, in, in the comment section were that they thought that I should start my own channel. And, you know, at the time I didn't think I really had much that, you know, I just didn't think that the stuff that I knew would really benefit, benefit people. I guess a lot of times I think the stuff that I know is common knowledge and I'm starting to realize that it's not. Uh, I enjoy interacting with, uh, with the viewers in the comment section. I try to respond to all of them and I appreciate all the comments. Uh, but I enjoy putting this content out there and I pray and just based off the comments, I am helping people I'm teaching people ways to survive and how to protect themselves, uh, their wealth, and you know protect you know their their physical you know well being. Uh, so that's that's why I do these videos. So again, I am not for sale. I don't try and sell anything on this channel. Uh, I don't have any, any endorsements, and I don't see that changing. Uh, I, I'm not here for the money. I enjoy putting these out, and and I enjoy helping everyone. Okay. Uh, I got a call from my buddy today and he works for NYPD and apparently uh, a mandate came out and either they have to do certain mandates or they lose their job. Uh, so what's going on across this country are police officers are leaving the force in, in droves. Uh, so where I'm going with all this is it was already bad. The, the, there's so many officers that were already leaving just because of the current climate that has to do with the police. And I understand there are some bad eggs out there, but for the most part, 
95% of us are hardworking Americans that love this country and are just trying to help out our fellow citizens. So in the Marines, I swore an oath to protect this country and also an oath to protect this state uh, when I became, you know, obviously in the Marines and then now as a peace officer. And there's no expiration on that. Uh, my opinion, the uh, Constitution is the top law. And if, if, if I feel that that's being, being violated, then that's, that's not cool in my book. Um, so I cannot stress, I'm going to go back to this with all these police leaving. I cannot stress how important it is to have security, um, because the police are already shorthanded as it is. And it's, I know it takes a long time for a lot of these agencies to get to these different calls. So just know that you are on your own. You're the only one that is going to protect you and your family. Uh, speaking of, I had a question down in the comments about the security that I put on the last video. Uh, this was it right here. This is a incredible piece of security. Uh, it's made by FN and it's actually chambered in uh, five, I'm sorry, it's yes, it's 5.7 by 28. This is what goes and feeds this thing. It actually likes 30 uh, things to eat. And um, just to give you some, I guess something to compare it to. So this is a 5.56, very common round. And this is actually what that thing shoots. Uh, I know this, I, I know I keep switching this out because the uh, security enthusiasts, like when I change these things out, I know I just had this thing up, but the reason why it's up is this security and that security actually fire the exact same. Uh, they like the same food. They eat the same food. Uh, so anyways, let's, let's move on. So security, if y'all don't have it, please, please get it. Train with it, become proficient. Uh, that's, that's all I'm going to say, uh, about that. Uh, it seems like all this stuff is purposely being done. Like they're trying to push every citizen to the edge. Uh, dividing us, getting to hate different groups, different, you know, ways of thinking, different races, different sexual preference. It's just, I feel like this is all being done purposefully and it probably is. And what I think is going on is all this is coming in as a distraction. It's all being done so the Federal Reserve can come in and reset the monetary system. That's what I think is going on. Um, you know, people ask me, when is this collapse coming? When is it going to happen, Aaron? Uh, now we are living in this now. I think we are in the beginning stages of it. Uh, the numbers are already worse than the great depression. Uh, so we are in a great depression, ladies and gentlemen, in my opinion. Uh, we'll obviously look back 10 years from now and then they're like, oh yeah, we're in a great, we're in a, we're in a depression. Yeah, we're in a depression. But if they were, if, if the, the media were to say that, just think of the chaos that would ensue if, if they said that kind of stuff. So they just keep, uh, you know, doctoring the numbers, sugarcoating everything. Everything's great. The economy's booming. No, it's not. The economy is dead. The velocity of money is dead. Um, so what do I always say about this? What do you need to do to protect your wealth? Okay. The reason why I push this stuff is because I believe in it and I buy it myself. Okay. Uh, that in my opinion is the West, the best way to protect your wealth. Uh, gold and silver are on a rise right now over the last, I don't know the exact amount, but over the last week or two, silver is, is up a couple dollars. Uh, and I think gold is probably up 50, 60. I don't follow gold as, as closely. So don't beat me up on that, but uh, silver, I want to say is 2450 or so an ounce. And uh, last time I look and then gold is almost at 1800, uh, an ounce. Uh, so I told y'all, uh, I think a month or so ago when to, to buy this dip. Okay. So, um, whenever these dips happen, take it as a buying opportunity and put back a little bit more if you can. Um, Please, if you don't have some and you have the means, get it. You shouldn't be holding on to dollars. Uh, anything denominated in dollars, you should not be holding on to, my opinion. 
obviously have some cash on hand. We've talked about that. That's for emergencies or if the, the power goes down, something like that. Uh, also, if, if you see a, uh, a financial, uh, something that comes up that you could financially benefit from, something that's a good price, you can jump on it immediately with cash. So I do recommend having some cash on hand. Um, I got an email from Paul over at Texas Precious Metals, and he's, he told me that they're starting to have problems getting a hold of silver. So I don't know if that's everywhere or just them. Uh, just be aware that people are waking up and they're buying this stuff. So if you want it, please get it. Um, I heard that Poland Central Bank uh, announced that they're going to try and get 100 tons of gold uh, in 2022. Uh, also, India Central Bank, China Central Bank, China, uh, they're all buying gold at the fastest pace since the 70s. So what do they know that we don't know? Do what the smart money is doing. All right, China has over 20,000 tons of gold. For what? If, if, if gold was worthless, uh, it's a barbaric uh, item to hold, then why do they have 20, 000, over 20,000 tons of gold? Um, they're not buying Bitcoin. I, I think what they're doing is they're gonna reset the price of gold. I think that's what's going to happen and silver is going to get drugged along with it. And it's, I think we're going to see numbers that we would never even imagine uh, that gold and silver would get to. But again, this is my, this is my opinion. I'm not giving financial advice. Uh, obviously I'm not a financial advisor or planner. This is what I'm doing. Uh, so take from it uh, what, what you have and apply it in, in your life. Um, I understand that Bitcoin, I know I just mentioned Bitcoin. Bitcoin, I think, hit all-time record highs. I want to say it almost made it to 67000 That's awesome. If you're in cryptos, I feel that you're gambling in that because it's there, there's nothing backing it up again. Uh, in my opinion, that's gambling. But if you're, you're in cryptos and you're making money, that's awesome. I'm happy for you. I just hope you're pulling profits and you're buying real assets with it. Um, remember gold and silver for me is wealth preservation. Do I think it will be an investment eventually? Sure. But for me, it's a vehicle to get my wealth from this paradigm, this monetary system to the next one. I think the next one will be a digital system. Uh, China already has a digital yuan, uh, and there's talk of them backing that by gold. So I think gold is going to be paramount in the future uh, as well as silver. Um, I think two, uh, China is going to be the next superpower. Uh, they're killing us in everything. They're killing us with manufacturing, their military, uh, just all around. They're, they're kicking the, US, the USA butt and we're dependent on them for everything, for medicine, uh, for all their exports, uh, for their steel. It's, it's just ridiculous. And um, you need to protect your wealth, in, in my opinion. Um, so do what the smart money is doing. Get you some gold, get you some silver. Uh, the other assets we always talk about, obviously, get close to God. That's number one, uh, besides all these assets, because um, he's going to give you the strength to get through this. And uh, you know, the, mental, the mental strength to uh, endure what's, what's coming. Uh, also remember your food, your water, uh, also your security that I've talked about. Um, I guess I'm going to end it there. I just want to thank everyone for all the kind words, uh, all the support. I do read all the comments. I know I miss a couple here and there. I try to respond to, to most of them. I'm sure there's some that I don't. Some of them I don't understand what they're, they're saying or it's just, I just, I don't know. I just don't respond to, to some of them uh, just based off of what it is. But I'm trying to interact with you all. I appreciate all the comments. Um, so I appreciate all the subscriptions. If you aren't a subscriber, please consider it. Comment below. Uh, it helps me out. It helps everyone out. We all learn from each other. Hit the like uh, button and also hit the bell notification. That way you get notified when I drop the next one. I think I'm going to leave it there. Um, hopefully you enjoy, uh, the content that I put out and you stick around. Take care. Okay. So 
everyone comes to eat the cow cubes to include Athena. Seriously? Can I get some space here, bud? Thanks. And apparently they all have names except for one. So I'm gonna try and feed all of them and do the name. So, <laughs> Athena. Hey, hey baby, is that good? Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna try and feed them all and give you the names and see if I can remember them all. Uh, I don't even know if some of y'all are here to see my pretty face. I think y'all are here for the cows and the goats. Maybe I need to start an OnlyFans. Is that what it is? OnlyFans? OnlyFans? What do you think, girl? You want to be in a, have an OnlyFans account? All right, let's get after this. Uh, so I'm going to try and feed all these and give you all the names. But apparently they are all named except for one. And I just talked to my daughter. She said she hasn't gotten a name for, for one of the cows. But I guess the rest do. So here we go. Okay, so this. Hey, girl. So this was Piglet, but apparently her name is Nubs. Hey, right here, girl. All right, so this is Nubs. <sighs> and this is Lily. Lily, come on, girl, right here. This is Lily. And Nubs is trying to eat that, no. Okay, Mango, I mean, I'm sorry, this is Echo. I'm sorry, this is Eki. This is Eki, but she won't eat out of my hand. And Eki's baby is actually, well here, this is Bob. That was real original, but this is Bob. <sighs> she, what is her name? Oh yeah, so she doesn't have a name. Right here, she doesn't have a name. Then this is Mango. Here, Mango. Okay, and then Red, we all know Red. Red gets two, because Red's a big boy. Ow! That's my hand, and Trixie. Apparently this is Trixie. I always just call her 48, but here, mama. This is Trixie. Yeah, you're a piglet too. That's why your daughter's a piglet. Okay, that's all of them. Then obviously we got, there's Firecracker, there's Bailey, and then that's Bronco. And obviously we all know Athena. Hey girl, come here Lily. Sweet baby, come here. And Bob has a real sweet face. Okay, enough of this. Uh, I'm about to go over to a good buddy of mine's and we're about to get some hay and uh, Red wanted to say hi. <laughs> so anyways, uh, I have the, uh, the trailer hooked up and I'm about to go to my buddies and pick up this hay. And they thought I was going to feed them, but I'll have to feed them when I get back. But, so that's what we're, that's what we're doing today. We're gonna go get some hay. Uh driving over and he's just loading them. I'm just going to drive around the field and uh, pick them up.
this looks sketchy as hell. <laughs> Randy's coming with one more. I don't know, I see him go down the highway like this all the time, but I don't know. <laughs> Guess we'll make it. We are loaded. Ah, uh, that's kind of scary, but okay. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Matter? No, hook it on up for a hike. Wait, let's uh, see. Is that a real big hook? I don't know. No. Like that? What, a different one? Yeah. Well, so I just got here and guess who sees the hay? comes Piglet chasing the hay. <laughs> all of them are gonna come running for it. That's the only thing I hate about when I go get hay because then they all come and they want government handouts. Let's go Brandon. <laughs> Handing out them stimulus hay bales. Alright guys made it back to the ranch. Got all the hay loaded in there. I would have showed y'all uh, I used the skid steer and I have a fork that goes on the skid steer to move it. Uh, I would have showed y'all, but the cows were attacking the trailer and eating the hay while it was on there. So I wanted to hurry up and get it loaded or, or offloaded, I guess I should say. I still need to go get another load. I don't know if I'm going to record that or not, uh, but got it all in here. So my modifications uh, to the barn that I did uh, are working. So uh, that's it. So... This should be enough hay to, to make it through the winter, uh, but we'll see.